Hello YouTube and LEGO fans and welcome to my review of the set you see before you. This is the LEGO Creator Maersk Line Triple E Container Ship set 10241 for ages 12 plus. Piece count of 1518 pieces and it retails here in the UK for £109.99 at the LEGO store. Or the Lego store online. So let's get into this review. Okay, so I've already done an unboxing of this video, so if you want to have a look at that, I will put a link down in the description um, to this video. So take a look at that, it is quite an interesting unboxing, if for no other reason, the sticker sheet. Um, but yeah, and I'll touch on the stickers as I take you around the ship. So one thing I do want to point out, which I didn't point out on the unboxing, before anyone asks the question, ship does not float. So this is purely for either display purposes or it can be used, it says, on carpeted surfaces. So there is some play ability um, on a carpet. Machine them in only a carpet so that you do not scratch it on a wooden floor or vice versa. So let's have a look at this. What I think a pretty fantastic looking ship. Um, obviously, Lego built ship. So, like I said, this is the Maersk Triple E container ship. This is actually based on. The real ship, obviously, which is the largest ship in the world. Um, some more facts about this um, particular Lego set. It does come with a number of rare colours, um, such as medium azure, dark red, sand blue and sand green. And there are a lot of those particular types of bricks in it. Another thing I just wanted to share with you guys before I take you around the ship itself is... That's the Lego inventory, so for a ship of the, uh, build of this size you would expect it to be over three, four pages, it's only over two. And the reason for that is, is a repetitive build, as in there are a lot of the same bricks. So there for example you can see the um, 2x4 white bricks, 44. Uh, what else have we got there? The 2x4 light greyish blue bricks, 44 of those again. You can see those ones there, the little kind of fence panel things, 45 of those. There's lots and lots of the same brick. So although it is it's a fantastic looking ship, readers look great and it look good on display in my house. Um, did I enjoy building it? Kind of a yes and no. Um, was a fun build, but I've got to say it also was a very repetitive build. Um, because of the, it's just the same thing over and over again with, with the bricks, particularly the containers up here. Um, and probably the most, I would say, frustrating part of the build was the stickers, just the amount of stickers. All these up here, everything you can see is an individual sticker, but I'm going to take you around the ship now um, and give you a closer look at everything. Right, okay, first of all I'm going to kind of give this a bit of a 360 spin on my table here. Um, obviously it's on the stand, as you can see here, it does come off the stand. Okay. So that's looking at it from the other side. Around to the front end there. And finally back around to the side there. So that's kind of the 360 um, view of the ship. So the best way to do this is going to be to take this camera off the tripod and give you some close-ups. So I'm going to do that now. All right, okay. Again, apologies for any camera shake. So first thing I'm going to do is take you into the plaque, so hopefully you can see and get away from that shine, light away, there you go, some of the information there on that plaque. Okay, and then 
what I'm going to do, I think, is we start from the rear end. Under there we can see the propellers and rudders. So they do spin, both of those. These, you can, could adjust these if you wanted to, up and down like that. And spin them around. Like so. I guess that would happen. Okay, and then up at the rear. So stick up. No surprise there. We have this little light detail on the rear there. And while I'm here at the back, I'm going to kind of pan up there to give you a view. There. Up across the top. It does look pretty awesome, actually. Okay, and then continuing to pan round to the side so we can see the containers there on top I'll take you down all of those and again sticker on the side there uh, for, thing to point out here, every single one of these, as you can probably see there now, is an individual sticker. Every one of those. So all those that you can see on both sides are stickers. Okay, some detail here. Again, stickers. There's obviously the main uh, control tower for the ship. Lifeboat, one on the other side as well. We've obviously the, the crane there to lift it and winch it into the water. Okay, carrying on round to the front. side obviously again the containers of all those lovely stickers uh, another lifeboat on that side see the name on the side again and again that view the rear this time of the um, control tower for the ship and carrying on down to the side there and what we do have here they've put two clear windows so that you can see inside the engine that's the engine detail in there okay so I just want to spin this back around yeah, shot there Okay, so another thing that can be done on this is these are all removable. So if we just take one, they just simply lift up like so. And you can now see how these are built with all those bricks. Obviously, see the ends there. And they just simply slot in into these pieces here. Okay, and again, I'll just simply slot that back on like that. Okay, so. I'm now going to take all the containers off to show you what it looks like, obviously, without the containers on the ship. Okay, so there's our view of the ship, container ship now, without the containers on it. So let's just move in. Again, you can have a better look. 
and there you can see that engines inside there again. And that engine detail. Kind of give you a better look of um, how this is built. You can see obviously just how those containers slot there into the ship, and there we can see all the containers there now sat down to the rear of the ship. Okay. Okay, so one final thing um, that's on this ship, which is on all the real ships, um, all the real Maersk ships, is at the front. There is always a gold coin, uh, which is for good luck. So that is actually underneath this piece. So if we just lift this off, and now you will see in keeping to keep it authentic um, Lego have provided us with a gold coin um, to put under there so we can get this out a bit fiddly let's place that down there so you can see the other side of it so oh, where's it gone there. so there we can see the other side of this we've got our number one on this um, let's turn that back over Obviously, we can see uh, Lego on the other side. And again, that just fits back in there, like so. Then we can place that back on top. Okay. Okay, so one final bit I want to show you is it off its stand. So just bear with me while I uh, try to remove this. So there we go, let's just place that down there. Okay, so there we can see it now off its stand, and there is the stand. Again, it's all it's all Lego built as you'd expect. Again, you see that information there. You see how this is built okay so that's our stand and we'll see there we can see the ship now in all its glory um, not on the stand so what I'm going to attempt to do now which could be a disaster is show you the underside of the ship oh, probably should have removed In fact, yes, I'm going to remove the uh, containers again, obviously, to show you the underside. Okay, so let's try that again. Now we're containerless. I should hopefully be able to tip this out without dropping anything out of it. So, I start from the front end of the ship. There you can see the underside. Oh, there you go, and then there's those propellers on there, and that's these here are oh, what the stand obviously slots into one there and one there. Okay, so that is the underside of the ship. Okay, so I just want to share the spare pieces that come with this set, which we can now see there. I'm not going to take you through all those because you can see what they are. Also comes with a brick separator, and it also comes with these additional gold pieces. The gold coin, which you saw under the front of the ship, actually came in a bag with these other four pieces in a sealed bag. Um, so you can see like a gold bullion bar there, and then there are three other coins. Obviously, one with two, five, and ten. So in total those are the spare bits that come with the set okay there we go that's my review of this set complete the lego creator Maersk triple e container ship um, hope you've enjoyed this review um, like i said not sure whether i enjoyed it or not to be honest um, was a good build um, 
just a bit repetitive, um, particularly with all those stickers. That's probably the most frustrating part of this build. Um, if it wasn't for the stickers, actually, it probably would have been a lot more fun. Um, but don't get me wrong, I did enjoy it. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. Please go ahead, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Um, go ahead, as always, provide me with feedback um, down in the comments section or ask me any questions. Um, and if you haven't done so already, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.